Someone emailed me this, so let's figure it out. Is Ghost of Yote evoke or actually not? It gets worse with the Ghost of Yotai story here as the Ghost of Tsushima sequel appears to be a big woke craziness. Uh, now, a lot of people initially defended it, said, you know what, it's... Yeah, I didn't defend it, but I did not look into it, and I was asking the question, are people just saying it's evoke because of this woman? Because that, just having a woman protagonist is not woke in my book in general, and considering she's not ugly, now admittedly she's no supermodel, which is a miss, but she's not ugly, so is it really gonna be woke? Fine, we like games with female protagonists, it, it doesn't mean anything, but as more came out, these choices really appear to be part of the woke agenda from Sony. It's really, really bad. Uh, and it gets worse. Uh, today, there's a big uh, unveiling of some Sony agenda to uh, to push this kind of thing. Uh, it's real. It's not a conspiracy. And, uh, you know, they're already going down this path of if you don't like it, don't buy it, right? <laughs> well, don't like it, don't buy it is typically a defense used when your game is going to be woke trash. <laughs> that is true. But that doesn't mean the game is going to be woke trash. I... I haven't seen it, but I want to see it. <laughs> yeah, they, I've seen this so many times in so many different industries. We saw it with comics, with, uh, you know, don't buy our comics if you don't like our politics. Uh, back oh, yeah, that was like a year or two years ago. It was hilarious because it, it completely burnt them. In the day, we saw it with uh, Doctor Who. Uh, you know, go, don't watch it, go touch grass, and then... And then uh, now we're seeing it with video games. Don't buy it. And I, I, I think that's the answer. Just don't buy it. I, I, we've seen now it's working with Ubisoft. It's really shut down that company. But Sony needs to learn this Love it. lesson as well. And it's really bad. Uh, there's a lot of uh, terrible stuff associated with this game that I, I could never see myself playing it at this point. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a major problem. So we'll get into the news in just a moment. Beyond this, uh, as is coming out, my name is John Delarose. Everybody, please hit the like and subscribe button. And I am a science fiction author producing some great works. This is my Stars Entwined, and it's a trilogy, uh, the Arishan War. It's about a it's a spy thriller in space. We got a we got a human spy. His name is Sean Barrows, and he goes oh. out and uh, attacks uh, the uh, Arishans who are out there, uh, of course, trying to destroy humanity. Uh, and it's, it becomes a little tough on him for reasons. It's a, it's a fun series, really picks up. Uh, you'll, you'll have a nice payoff with it if you go through the whole trilogy. And it is a, available on ebook, print, and audiobook too. Uh, definitely buy the audiobook and support our audio guy, who's awesome. Uh, it's in the description below. Thank you guys so much for supporting all of our books. Uh, it's been an amazing month, and uh, you're awesome. So, this happened uh, very, very soon after there was some controversy involved in it. And, and it's interesting. I've seen some back and forths. Uh, some of the guys, uh, you know, in Geeks and Gamers and the like have been defending it, saying that it's a, it's a blight upon our movement uh, to actually criticize this game because it makes us look like we're bigots or whatever. I hate that kind of thing, personally. Uh, I'm just like, hey, uh, you know what? We are uh, here to stand against wokeism. I, I, don't, I don't care if it's just a little bit. Uh, I don't want to support people who are like this uh, <laughs> at all. Uh, oh, yeah, I have I have seen this. Yeah, that's the voice actor. But again, it's it's the voice actor. She she can be as trash of a human being as possible, you know? Ugh. It is what it is. Radical activist who thinks police are white supremacists and supports transgender <laughs> ideology. She's got the, uh, got the shaved head. Oh, uh, she got my haircut, but then I'm going to get my... I, I promise I'm going to get my haircut, okay? As you would expect. And this is this is how they are. Um, this is uh, the uh, woke activist as it is. And you can see right here, uh, the Ghost of Yotai, progressive activist known for hating the police telling straight women who disagree with LGBT to log off, is not just the voice actor, she's also the face and mocap of the new Sucker Punch title. It's an asset. Um, like I said, yeah, this is this is what they're doing. This is who they want uh, here, and it is not. Oh, so it's based off of her. Okay. So you're telling me the dirty version of her with grime and shit all over her face is ten times better than the actual one because reasons. Okay. Not just a. 
uh, you know, oh, she's just the voice actress, like like they were trying to say at the be- very beginning of this stuff. I'm sorry to say it. It's really, really bad out there. And you can see it's an agenda. This is... Uh, this is what's going on. Stop making it. these people calling us horrible for pointing out that gaming is predominantly ghost of Yote. Bat, bat. I think that's a man. She definitely has daddy issues, and I can help. Um, I think maybe that's a man. I hope that's not a woman. Um, well, there is a difference. Now, admittedly, yeah, the voice actor being an insane activist, uh, this being the group that made the game, it doesn't mean that the game is woke, but I mean, I understand why people are uh, predicting that this could turn out woke, because yeah, currently, if I had to make a prediction, it's not looking good. Now, again, it doesn't still mean that the game is woke. We need to see gameplay, some story elements, and things like that first. But, yeah, if I if I was a betting man, I... Oh, oh yeah, it does not, would not look good, not gonna lie. ...male space, that these dev teams are artificially majority female are a problem. Uh, and you could see uh, what's happening. They typically are. They typically are. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, they typically are. ...happening here. This was uh, Ghost of Tsushima's dev team, right? Uh, here's Ghost of Yotai's dev team. They're not the same. These are This is not the same game. It, it, they're using the brand, but these are not the same people. Also too fat. Well, you could see exactly what this is. Uh, looks like they've just ditched uh, everybody who made the first game a success and made it a lot of fun uh, and then decided to go all in on diversity. You got a blue hair on the right here. Wait, 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 wait. Also... Wait a minute. Is this a wheelchair bound thing? Oh no. All in on diversity. You got a blue hair on the right here. Uh you, you can also tell what's too happening. Fat. It's it's very, very obvious. Now Sony is saying much the same thing, guys. Uh when you get into what Sony's doing with this, uh Cabrutus just reported this this morning. Um, but the female protagonist in the next ghost of, of game is not because of DEI reasons. And that's what I'm seeing a lot, right? I'm um, seeing a lot of this, and it's in conjunction with the the, Ze- the new Zelda game. Everybody's saying the Zelda game's fun. Yeah, I, again, I if there's a female character as the main protagonist, I'm the more happy. I fucking hate men. I li- I am the biggest. What's what's it called when you hate men? I am the biggest one of those out there. Men are fucking useless, and I hate I hate all of you. Okay, listen, I want females in my games i want luscious beautiful still are blade tier females with all the physics implied okay that's what i want i don't want to play as a as a manly man okay no reason for that completely don't care i i i want to play as a slim long leaded beautiful woman okay and i want ladders tons tons of ladders and you know, oh, they're not just replacing Link as a protagonist. You know, it, it's a pattern at this point. And I've been saying this. I got I got flack for that when I reported on that, and I said, you know, replacing Link as a protagonist uh, and calling it Legend of Zelda is is kind of just more of this exact same thing. It is a mm, well, yeah, and I I mean, it's all Sony, right? And Sony has been swallowing the DEI garbage pretty heavily lately. So all of these things. They could be nothing, but considering the world around them and everything that's happening, it doesn't seem like nothing. So, yeah, just from all of this, again, I don't know if the game's going to be woke or not. It's hard to tell, but, you know, currently everything surrounding this is kind of saying it's there's a high chance. There's a high chance, because, again, we can't ignore everything that's that, that's happening around. A big replacement happening all the time. And it's just constant. And you have to look at it as it's a pattern. You have to look at the fact that M- MCU, like, doesn't, doesn't, you know, they just got rid of white males. Star Wars, Hell they yeah. just got rid of white, white males. Like, <laughs> it, it's very, very intentional. These corporations do this. It's not a conspiracy. It's not something that's just happening periodically. It's all the time in everything. And, uh, and that's... Yeah, the people who make that stuff literally then go on interviews and say, oh, yeah, that was intentional. <laughs> of course it's not a conspiracy. They, they, they literally boast about it. It's the problem here. 
I mean, even, yeah, Assassin's Creed Shadows. I mean, you got your Black Samurai, but who, you know, who's the ninja, right? The uh, they're doing this for everything, and it is very intentional. And so here is uh, uh, Sony's Corporate Report 2024. Uh, and, of course, they want to uh, important to create work environments and systems. It's okay. It's okay. Sony's going to just make more uh, rockets. That allow employees with diverse characteristic and styles of life and work passionately to embrace a broad range of... Now, now by the way, why, why you, you go to work. What does your style of life have to do with work? Everything. It's the modern day, okay? If... If I'm not bringing my, if I'm not bringing a pile of poop and smearing it all over my desk, how are people gonna know that my lifestyle is different? It has everything to do with it. I, and obviously, they're talking about LGBTQ crap, right? That's 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 what that's code for. So they want more of that, but but, but what's that? Like that shouldn't have anything to do with work and video games. Like just leave us alone. It used to be these people used to be like, hey, you know, uh, we just want to do what we want in the privacy of our own bedrooms. But now they want it everywhere. They want to shove it in your face all the time. They the slippery slope is real. And remember, everything that everyone does always affects you. There is no such thing. Oh, is this, that's not, this is not going to affect me. It will. It will. You're just too blind to see it yet. It won't leave us alone. It's, it's obnoxious. Sony believes the effects of its HR initiatives are eventually reflected in employee engagement. Okay, sounds good. Employee engagement is high over recent years. And here we go. This is where it all comes from. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. This is a 2024 Sony report. Sony aims to be an organization where diverse personalities, opinions, and views and values coexist. Yeah, right. Unless you're a white male Christian, right? <laughs> That's not allowed to coexist. That's to help further advance the diversity in Sony's group. Sony has set new numeric targets and is working to raise the percentages of women and non-Japanese nationals as a proportion of the Sony Group Corporation executives to more than... You know why? Okay, so this is the duality and thing that uh, completely just uh, exposes this as an agenda. Because Japanese, in this sense, should be a minority. Because they, they, they should be considered a minority. But because they can't just subvert the Japanese culture overnight, these Japanese people need to be replaced with people who have already been subverted. That's effectively what they're saying. Japanese is not the minority here by any means because they need to be replaced. There you go. 30% respectively by 2030. So they are just hiring people just based on being women. That's it. And based on being not Japanese. I love how Japan's getting throttled in all of this because they are too white adjacent. That's probably my most hilarious, it's probably the funniest thing ever. In a recent revised diversity, equity, and inclusion statement, for the first time in 10 years to showcase this attitude towards diversity, Sony works to globally promote greater opportunities for women as part of its efforts. This is exactly like Ubisoft. It's exactly the same thing we just saw. Every company is doing this. Wake up. If you're if you're if you're out there saying you know what's the hilarious part microsoft fired their dei thing now the question is about bridge i know but it's not gonna happen overnight and microsoft currently uh decided to get rid of all of their dei because shit just doesn't work okay dei inclusivity is not gonna make them uh not gonna help them make the quantum computer that's gonna take over the world it's not happening saying this is gonna just be fine just because the ghost of brand is fine uh, it's not. This is intentional. This is, they hate you. They want you out of gaming. They want to replace you in gaming. It's, it's, <laughs> you're a toxic gamer to them. This is it. Uh, they work globally to promote greater opportunities for women as part of efforts to ensure inclusive work environments. As of March 31st, the percentage of women in Sony's workforce was 34%. Yay! And that management positions held by women was 30.7% across. Now we need to make this equal and make it that women are 80% of the uh, workforce, at least at the top. That will be through equality. Sony Group. Sony plans to continue to advance joint initiatives with academic and other organizations to pursue gender diversity as an area of focus for Japan. They're trying to do this too. I love gender diversity as long as there's less men, as I mentioned previously. Japan, this is crazy. But in, in my life, not, not in gaming. We need more men in gaming, obviously. 
where the ratio of management positions held by women is generally low and the number of women majoring in sciences and engineering is limited. So this colors this right here as social engineering. The reason that they are putting... Okay, 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 okay. Maybe smash, definitely pass. Maybe, definitely pass. Yes. Mm, probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Maybe. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. That's a that that is an amazing lineup. That is an absolutely amazing below average lineup. And that tells you everything you need to know because uh, women only care about themselves. A.K. If they're ugly, everything else in the world needs to be ugly. Otherwise, they can't get ahead. So this is going to be very fun. Social engineering. The reason that they are putting this here is they want to put more imagery into Japanese society, especially because the Japanese samurai and Japanese historical games are heavily played by Japanese, and they want to change the culture. It is social engineering. This is a DEI uh, agenda right here and you could see it a hundred percent through this picture exactly they want to replace you with this every single time in all aspects of entertainment and there's probably so much fighting going uh going on in this office it's insane yeah uh, it, it's an it's it's something that there's there's this amazing article about a woman who decided that she's going to make a only female company and how fucking quickly that turned into an absolute disaster. Oh, by the way, do you want to hear one hilarious thing? My background is in government and things like that. I have been, uh, I have been in uh, high positions and things, uh, th things of that nature. And I, effectively, worst case scenario, I have always been able to, you know, one to one talk to bosses and had had respects of all kind. And I have worked under women bosses before. And you know what's the hilarious thing? Every single uh, a woman that is actually good and competent at their job as a uh, as a boss, as a department leader or something like that, they all fucking have said exactly the same thing, that they fucking hate women. They fucking hate working with women. This is what almost all the competent women are going to tell you, that they hate working with women, which is the most hilarious part about all of this. That's an attack on men everywhere. It really is. Because it's not ending drama. It's shit. It's just constantly someone getting upset about something. It's pretty insane. Uh, and since men are the ones who game the most, uh, the, who are the most interested in this kind of thing, they want to fix that in their minds. You're not allowed to have your own spaces. Now, it's interesting. They get their own spaces and everything, right? The, remember how the Barbie movie is like the best thing ever? Like... They don't, they don't try to be inclusive towards men in that kind of thing whatsoever, but you're only supposed to do it in your spaces and you're not allowed to have your own spaces. You, you, you get, you're getting this. You understand. And so this is... It's the classic thing. In any case, uh, that was John Del Oroz. 10 out of 10. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.